I don't know if I should answer questions like this. Not even a little bit. That's funny. Yeah. That shit is welcome to the meeting, folks. Come on in. It's a secret. On the AA meeting where you can have a drink. So send me in your questions and I'll tell you what I think. I don't really know the answers, but you'll enjoy the show. Now let me tell you who I am like you don't already know. It's Anthony Anonymous. Anthony Anonymous. I said it's Anthony Anonymous. Anthony, Anthony, Anthony Anonymous. Anthony Anonymous. I said it's Anthony Anonymous. Hallelujah! You know, the last Italian guy to answer questions about cheating did end up getting stabbed on a boat. Welcome to your ninth AA meeting. Nine. We're like a cat. We got nine lives. Doing life once is enough for me. Glad I'm not a cat. Let me read you today's email. Dear Anthony Anonymous. That's me. My friend sent me a link to your videos. Hilarious. I laughed my ass off. Good. I was hoping that you could answer my question in one of your videos. Your wish is my command. I would love your opinion on how you can tell if someone is cheating on you. Ah, oh, shit. Boyfriend, husband, partner, etc. And if so, what should you do about it? Break up, revenge, or cheat back? I think cheating back is revenge. Thanks, and keep making videos. Pick mine, please. I already did. Relax. Sincerely, Suspecting Susan. Uh, sorry, fellas. I guess I gotta answer this one. First thing... <laughs> uh, the first sign that they're cheating on you is that you're asking me this question. Anytime you start asking that, 99 times out of 100, they're probably cheating on you. Sorry. Another real easy way to probably figure out if somebody's cheating on you is a change in their behavior. You know, like if I'm with a girl that I talk to every day, she goes missing for a couple days. Cheating. Is he getting haircuts? Is he trimming his beard? Wearing cologne and stuff when he never did these things before when you first met him? Cheating. Believe me, he's not trying to better himself for you. He already has you. You see? He's doing that for his side piece. Cheating. This ain't no chumpy in the world that, you know, goes for the decision. He's knocking them out left and right. He don't give a shit. Floyd Mayweather promotions, what? He don't give a f Another giant indicator that you're with a cheater is when they travel a lot by themselves. Bachelor parties in Vegas? Cheating. Brother's birthday in Europe? Cheating. He's getting around. Oh, I tried calling you, honey. Oh, I'm sorry, babe. My battery died and I wasn't able to charge the phone. Cheating. I tried to text you. Didn't you get my message? Oh, I'm sorry. You know how these signals can be in these hotels. Cheating. What you should do about it is maybe you should have an ounce of dignity. I don't understand how a person stays with somebody who's cheating on them. If they liked you, if they respected you, if they loved you, they wouldn't be fucking around. They do not care about you. There's plenty of fish in the sea. I guess for girls, there's plenty of snakes in the desert. And nobody's gonna respect you until you respect yourself. And if you're just gonna let people walk all over you and cheat on you and stuff, I'm sorry, but it's gonna happen over and over. You're hurting somebody's feelings when you cheat, and that's why it's a dickhead move. Or, don't get caught. <laughs> Adjourned! It's Anthony Anonymous, Anthony Anonymous, I said it's Anthony Anonymous, Anthony, Anthony, Anthony Anonymous, Anthony Anonymous, I said it's Anthony Anonymous.